described as unacceptable. I am happy to announce that the government, World Health Organization, and other donors have sent down the following logistics to help combat meningitis in the region. One, 7,500 7, vials of ceftriazone. Two, 1,100 infusions. Three, five packs of Pastorex. 540 vials of ceftriazone from philanthropies. I am therefore assuring you that there are enough drugs to help manage and test meningitis cases. The press conference comes amid growing criticism of the region's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, labeling the leadership as not proactive in release of results of new cases. He explained that it is not a dereliction of duty, as many of the criticisms suggested. I wish to explain that due to the exigency of the situation now, sample results are announced at the national level by the national coordination team through the Ministry of Information press briefing. Dr. Binsali then turned his attention to the new six confirmed COVID-19 cases in the region. Of the six new confirmed cases, five of them returned to Ghana over three weeks ago from South Africa, Nigeria, United Kingdom, Germany, and Australia. In other words, they entered the country before our borders were closed to persons traveling from other countries. The sixth person is an indigenous one. The person returned from the western region of Ghana to the upper west region. Therefore, as of 12 April 2020, these new cases have shot up upper west regional figures as follows. Total confirmed cases, seven. Total number of deaths, zero. Total number of suspected cases, 56. Total number of sample collected, 33. Quarantine travelers, two. Number of travelers screened, 2,731. Travelers on manifest, 14. He also spoke about the first case that was confirmed in the region on March 27 and the stigma attached to persons with the disease. The first confirmed case is responding positively to treatment. The new cases are also being managed by the health authorities and none is in critical condition as at now. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wa.